Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's Monday morning. Got me a good cup of coffee like usual. Mm, mm, mm. It's very good. All right. This weekend was interesting. Across the country, there's a lot of tornadoes going on, a lot of storms, a lot of tornadoes. Um, yeah, it was just a lot of tornadoes. I've seen some place that was uh, kind of damaged uh, by tornadoes because I was driving through there. But I hope everyone's safe and um, no one got hurt. All right. Anyway, AMC. What is happening? It's pulled back. Like I said last week, I think we was going to be in this 498 area. And we're here. We're still here. AMC is just kind of in its pattern again, where it's bouncing from the five, roughly what, five, 15? Let's see what's up here. Yeah, 515 area down to this $4 area, 488, somewhere around there. So it's bouncing back and forth and it's, it's holding steady. Like it's fighting, it's really fighting to stay above $5 and we've seen that over the last couple of weeks. So what I think is going to happen, if the market is pulling back, AMC is going to come down to um, 480. It's going to come back and test this 480, this area right here, this 488. If we can't hold that and the market start pulling back, and if, if it pulls AMC with it, then we're going to come down to the 470 mark, around 470. So on the low end, I think AMC will probably come down to around 475, 476, maybe 478, somewhere around there on the low end, okay? We may not hit the 470. Um, I can river, I can see us hitting the 488 area, but 470 is possible. Okay, um, on the high end, of course, it's going to be that five dollar area, and um, it's possible we can push up to like uh, 513, 515. So that's all I have for AMC. Um, let me look at the queues real quick because I'm just assuming the whole market is going to, is down right now. So. Cause it's Monday, you know, it's, it's almost a cycle. Okay, so the TQ is down 2.09%, um, the Q is down 0.70%, and this is down, and the SPY is down 0.59%. So yeah, the market's down. If the market can't push back up to the previous closing price from last week, last Friday, then it's gonna be big trouble. But it looks like the market is, is uh, it may rally for a little bit, but it's going to pull back. I'm almost sure of it. Don't quote me on that. But for me, I feel like the market is just going to pull back even more. Um, I think we're on a downslide because there's a lot of stuff going on out there. So the market is going to probably naturally pull back because of what's going on. Um, then you got all these tornadoes hitting places. Things are getting damaged. So, of course, it's gonna, uh, that, that may affect... Um, Things that are going on in the world it may affect the stock market on supplies and all this other stuff. Stuff may start running up. You you know you never know. Um, but I I'm also keeping an eye on this um, this AI right here. I've said something about this AI in the past, about like three months ago when it was down here. I mentioned that I feel like this was going to be the next biggest thing. And I set it around here, and now it's up to $34. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Um, is there anything else? Oh, my Marlin. Um, I'm still in Marlin. Okay, so I'm up, what, $32. <laughs> and I have 1,000 shares. Market value is $132. And I only bought that amount, okay? I'm not going to I'm not going to put... Twenty thousand dollars into a, a stock like this, unless I'm for sure, okay. And there's there's some people that will criticize you for having a certain amount of stocks. People will criticize you for not having um, more stocks than they do, okay. So keep that in mind. Everybody's not equal. People buy a certain amount of stocks for a certain reason. Um, and that's it. So don't let anyone make you feel bad because you have a certain amount of shares. Like I bought this here. Okay. But my average is 
is 0 0.098. That's my average, okay? And the price right now is 13, point 13 cent, you know? And I got criticized for just having a thousand shares. <laughs> like, really? Someone criticized me for having a thousand shares. But it is what it is. Um, I, and I have this amount here. The, the thing about me investing what I invest like less than a hundred dollars. I'm not worried about this disappearing, but the, but the person that made a comment that said they have well over, like they, they made a fun of me about my, about my, about my 100 shares that I had. They was like 100 shares. I got such as us, such a, now when I told people to leave their comment on how many shares you got, you know, and a lot of people did, but there were some people that, at least one person that said they really was bragging and said something about me having my hundred shares. So don't worry about people like that because um, they're, they're in the same boat as all of us. And that person is going to be sick if they lose their shares or if they don't sell it before, um, before they lose a lot of money. Okay. Because it could come slamming down at any time and they can lose a big chunk of their money if this comes slamming down i'm not worried about it okay if it approaches to the price that i buy it i'm going to sell it i'm just going to sell it that's how that's how i was with amc when i had a whole bunch of shares of amc and it pushed down to um 27 my 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 minimum was 27 okay when it got to 27 i was out i was out because i felt like it was going to come down same way with this I'm not going to take $32. I'm not going to just take that out. If it gets up to 100 or maybe 200 yeah. But I feel like Mullen has more potential than what people are, are thinking. So I'm just going to hold on to it and see what it does. But that's it on Mullen, okay? I got my eye on Mullen. It ran up. When I told people about it, it ran up. Like the same day when I said I got my eye on this, I put a, a comment in my community tab, and I said, I got my own this. I feel like it's going to do something. And of course, it started running. So, but let's keep our eye on AMC. See what it does. It's trying to do its thing. Look, it's slamming down. It's pushing up. So we're going to see what happens. Okay. All right, guys. Have to go drink my coffee. And um, don't let no one tell you how to trade. Be yourself. Trade how you want to trade. Don't, don't, don't try to compete with anybody on how many stocks they have or none of that. Okay. Be you. Okay. Gotta go, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.